Full disclosure, I helped in the development of this product, so obviously I'm a little biased when I say that this is the best thing since, I don't know, full spectrum LEDs. But yeah, now that it's been announced, I can finally tell you guys why. First, let's go over the controller. Down here, you can see that there's eight device ports, two sensor ports, and a power port. The device ports are the same as controller 69, so you can plug in all your existing AC Infinity devices, and they also work with the UIS control plug to connect any of your other devices. The two sensor ports are brand new to this controller, and while I'm not allowed to reveal the sensors I've tried so far, I will say that I'm pretty excited with the amount of support this controller is going to get. Both the devices and sensor ports can also be expanded. There's already a 4-in-1 adapter available to expand the device support up to 32, and there will be a similar adapter available for the sensor ports in the future. But until that's available, you can currently mix and match two sensors with a temperature and humidity sensor bundled in with the controller, and the rest you'll have to buy separately. Here, I have the CO2 sensor, and these pair really nicely together to give me a complete snapshot of my grow space environment. Oh, and there's also a built-in temperature and humidity sensor over here, which gives you the outside temperature and humidity reading. All of these new sensors lead to a whole new app experience. As you would expect, there's now controls and automations for these new sensor types, but the multiple sensors also interact with each other, with new control options that take into account the unique combinations of sensors you have plugged in. For example, you can have your inline fan slow down if the outside environment won't help your inside environment since you now know both outside and inside temperature. And for example, when a CO2 sensor is plugged in, you now have a new option to set your inline fan minimum speed to zero anytime your CO2 levels are at an acceptable level. So here's the secret no one knows about growing at home. As long as you're growing in the same space you live in, your indoor CO2 levels are typically way above the minimum, what, 400 parts per million needed to keep a plant alive because we create so much CO2 as we breathe. For example, my grow space is often closer to a thousand parts per million of CO2, which means that my plants would actually do better if I didn't bring in fresh air from the outside. So I should only be doing that if the outside air can help the temperature or humidity of my grow space. This information goes against pretty much everything people are taught about your grow tents needing a constant supply of fresh air. So that rule of matching your CFM with your grow space size. But this rule was invented because no one knows if you're growing in a shed where you do need constant fresh air or in a house. So now that this controller is able to measure your CO2 levels, It'll turn off your inline fan to maintain this perfect environment, as opposed to always having a minimum fan speed just to satisfy this need to constantly bring in fresh CO2. So this feature will improve your grow space environment, which will improve your plant health, all while lowering the electrical cost of your grow space. And I'm just explaining one new sensor type. I can't even talk about the other sensors yet until they're revealed, but I'm sure you can imagine the automations that this controller can now create. And then of course, there's the whole new AI mode, which is now the default control method for good reason. Since the controller is now able to detect all the device types that are plugged in it, it can set everything for you based on your parameters. If you're not sure what to set it to, there's a beginner mode They'll have everything up and running after answering a few questions. I found the AI mode to be really effective in maintaining my grow space automatically, 
and certain features such as dynamic lighting, which sets my light cycle on time to match the coolest time of the day, are just options that didn't exist before. But now that I've tried it, I never want to go back to setting my own light schedule times. And once AI mode is set up, you really don't have to do anything anymore. You'll get alerts if something is wrong, you can check the app to see charts on how your grow is doing. There's insights on your grow environment and grow advice based on your current stage of growth, which is connected to probably the largest library of grow articles and videos found in any app. Hey everyone, and welcome to Growing Indoors. This step-by-step -step hey, resource guide- Hey, this guy sounds familiar. <laughs> so there's more to control our AI that I can't talk about yet, but from what I've covered, this should give you a good idea on why I'm so hyped that this is finally ready for release. It really has something for everyone, no matter your skill level.